Is there something in the river there? Here it is, the rain. So I made it back to the car, got all unkitted and uh, made my way back on the road, the next leg of the trip. However, I've gone now inland in the Hogakusten region uh, to a place called Solefti and uh, by the looks of it, it's a nice ski resort in the winter. The place I'm staying at, I think it's the nicest hotel in the town up on top of the hill. I'm still yet to check in because I've just arrived and seen this amazing view and I had to share it with you. So I'm staying here tonight um, and then in the morning get breakfast and head out on the road again for about 30 minutes inland that way <laughs> over there I am so excited I'm so excited for canoe trip it'll be my first time in a canoe yeah we'll see how we get on with camera kit and how I deal with it because I've got loads of uh, dry bags I may take my main camera and stick it in the dry bag I don't know what's in store but um, cameras and water don't mix well cameras and water don't mix well so we'll see how we go So good morning guys, I'm here with Micah from Resili... Resile. Resile. Mm -hmm. Resile Adventures. We're in Högerkusten inland, uh, so it's close to the high coast uh, in Sweden, but a little bit more inland. And uh, we're gonna go do a bit of canoeing today. I'm just having a lovely bit of coffee. <laughs> what, what have some coffee? And what have you got there? Yeah, these are as a, like a turn, this is just as old as I am. It's from 1977 and they used to do these kind of spoons and uh, take with them on uh, you know hikes and anywhere you go so they're very they're very good they're very uh, uh it's very cozy wow. also <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> made from the trees here and mm -hmm. is this good to do if you're a beginner like me absolutely yeah. yes these canoes that we have it's uh, canadensere uh, they are very very stable and uh, so it's very very hard to trip <laughs> i don't think anybody ever managed to do it unless you decide to stand up upright in a canoe that's not so smart there's no. actually two roles uh, when you're paddling canoe uh, in this canoe uh, one is the motor and uh, so it just has to paddle don't think just paddle 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 okay. <laughs> and then there's one person that has to think a little bit more because that's the one who is steering and you can steer in different ways you usually when you paddle you take your paddle and you keep your paddle quite close to the canoe mm -hmm. uh, because then it takes you least effort uh, but if you uh, feel like okay now I'm sort of running into a beaver or, <laughs> <laughs> or land then you can break okay. you paddle back but if you want to do it a little bit more uh, gentle, you see, okay, we want to go this way, uh, but we're going this way. Then you can say, instead of doing like this, close to the canoe, you can take a little bit longer, more broad. So then you can sort of steer a little bit easier. Then it was about time to hit the water. Try to get as low, stay as low as possible. Okay. Good job I know how to swim. Yeah, perfect. be a lot of fevers here in Sweden uh, but um, they became very popular because of their, uh, their skin so in the 1920s they uh, got some uh, import beavers from Norway <laughs> imported, <them. laughs> imported beavers from Norway uh, and now they have really uh, exploded again so there's, I think there's, there's very, very, a lot of beavers here now. Wow. believe it or not these bridges are the lifeblood of these small communities along the river. Reisele is a village community that is actually spread across the river, divided by the water. These bridges are the only connection to the other side. I've seen there's a lot of fish as well. There's, some, there's a lot of fish yeah. in the waters. You want to wait out here on the field a bit? Yeah, can do. I think yeah. Forest grows very fast here, 
So uh, we we'll try to uh, this is it's, but at the same time you want to keep the landscape open. Uh, yeah. So we try to work very hard at keeping the landscape open to so make sure that there are cows and sheep uh, grazing our uh, our landmarked hills there. Yeah. Uh, because as soon as they don't graze there anymore, then the forest will just <laughs> take, <laughs> take it all over. back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed the forests are mad here, like yeah. crazy thick. Yeah. 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 So we're just uh, waiting out the storm. It said it wasn't going to rain today, did it? Yeah. Ten percent chance. But here it is, the rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come over from England, damn England. <laughs> but it's quite nice, also. I don't know. Yeah. It feels very outside. <laughs> <laughs> Refreshing because it's been oh. very warm recently. Yeah. Yeah, it's still quite pleasant actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm standing with my feet in the water, but it's very, very warm. We could take a swim if you want. Yeah. And that's also, uh, I, I said, it's it's about uh, being outside here. It's not about, you know, achieving and, you know, going very, yeah. very far. It's yeah. about enjoying. It's more of a casual thing. So you were just telling me about, like, hunting lifestyle in Sweden mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. So if you could tell me a bit more about that, that would be it. Yeah, it's interesting because I uh, I come from Holland and uh, I've been a vegetarian for 18 years of my life. Oh, that's quite a long time actually. Yes, yeah. quite a long time <laughs> from when I was like 11. Wow. And, uh, and so I always thought, you know, that I'm hunting is a little bit, I don't know, I didn't mm. really like it. But, um, but now I've come here and uh, it really has changed my view on hunting and I'm considering to, you know, get a hunting license myself also because it's more part of a lifestyle wow. uh, I mean lots of people uh, hunt here and you hunt in a team for example a moose uh, and you share the moose and then you eat them <laughs> so it's part of sort of you know it's, it's both about getting your own food or getting good food good meat mm. that you don't sort of buy in the store it's yeah, your own. really fresh the really fresh, fresh you and it's you know yeah. it's in the forest so it's not uh, 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 it's not uh, horrible yeah. <laughs> for the animal and i bet nothing goes to waste you use every part of the animal yeah. Like that, yeah yeah and um and so so i like that and it's and I, also the hunting is not of course, people that hunt also like the kick. Huh? It's oh, exciting if yeah. you hunt something. But it's, um, I have a very good friend who is a hunter and she always says, you know, for her, it's the biggest part is, you know, being outside, have a discussion, how we're going to do this hunting, sitting oh. somewhere in the middle of the forest uh, by yourself with your dog uh, and your cup of coffee, being very, very silent, another way of being outside. Yeah, it's like the excitement of the activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Figuring it out, strategy. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Huh. yeah. yeah. So, uh, so I have changed my view on hunting a bit. Yeah. And you can see that. I mean, most people of village in almost every household, there's there is a hunter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And you'll club together and make the team teams up. Yeah, um, for yeah. Christ, everybody. You have to have both the hunting license, and you have to do a course so that you know what you're doing and you know about wildlife protection and so on. Um, and then uh, you have to have a hunting right uh, that comes with a piece of land that you own. But your own piece of land might not be big enough to follow that moose, for example, <laughs> all the way. So then you join a group and together you have a bigger area where you can hunt. Uh, and then you decide together how, how you do it and when you hunt and, and so on. Right. Yeah. And what I would love to this winter, we're going to, well, we have an adventure where uh, people uh, go out and do uh, top fogel jacht. Uh, I forgot the name in English, I have to check it up. Oh. It's like a big black bird with lots of big feathers. Yeah. I have to look it up. But, uh, Is it like a raven? No, it's not no. a raven, no. no. And you can eat it. It's, uh, it's, oh, uh, right. so it's got lots of meat on it. It's got lots of meat. Turkey? No, but it's not a turkey fly. there, but it's a, it maybe it looks a little bit like a turkey. I'll check it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, there in the, in the winter, uh, it's a called, we have five seasons here. And there's one season which is called this Vår Winter, Spring Winter it's called. Uh, and then it might still be like minus 15, minus 20. But there's also a lot of sun and it's a very dry climate here. Mm. So it's great to be outside. And then you can go, uh, well, till the end of January, this is actually but uh, then you can go into the forest on your tour skis mm. uh, uh, and uh, follow a hunter uh, and, and yeah, 
be with us on this experience going into the forest on your skis and trying to see these birds that are sort of catching the, the, the sun <laughs> on the top <laughs> of the trees, yeah. hunting them. And, uh, and then you are in this sort of a cabin and there's no heating, so you have to make a fire to keep yourself warm in the night. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's also wow, it's it's a fantastic adventure. experience. It's a yeah. really, really, it's a big adventure. Yeah. Um, Definitely yeah. have to come back in the winter because it all Absolutely. changes. Yeah. All changes, the activities change and yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah, we do a lot of ice fishing in the Oh, winter. I've always wanted to do that, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. pretty intense. It's a new life. Yes, yeah, mm. very outdoors life. Yeah. The rain has calmed and we're back on the water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yes. That's a good thing about rain. You're so happy when it's gone. <laughs> it's hard to be a farmer nowadays. Is it? Yeah, small scale farming. It's, uh, it's hard to make a living. Yeah. It's almost. It went a bit like that in the UK. Farmers were really well looked after yeah. and earned a lot, but then the price dropped for yeah. them or something. Yeah. yeah. Made it hard. But now the same with this uh, Brexit and whatever. They're like yeah. doing all oh, British produce and all this stuff. Yeah. And we're just like, what about the bananas? Yeah. <laughs> Can't grow them buggers in the UK. <laughs> so you say this was possibly caused by a beaver? Then the entrance of a beaver log is underwater uh, to save them from predators, spirit of some predators. But uh, a beaver log has several floors. Uh, so they live on the floor that has, is actually uh, above water. <laughs> um, so they go in underwater and then they live on the, uh, on the, on the top floor. Uh, and then they can be like the whole winter there's snow and ice on the river. And they can be there the whole winter and then they have sort of, they have all their, their food stock, <laughs> their, their pieces of wood there that they can, uh, can eat all of the winter. So the beavers actually eat wood or not? Yeah. They eat wood? Yeah, um, I don't know the word in English for it. Uh, one of the things that they use here. They like the, the fresh, the leaves and the, and the, and the, and the fresh um, twines. It is quite impressive how big they can be. Yeah. They don't build dams here because it's too far. They can never sort of influence the course of this river. <laughs> no. But we have in the Gatissen Inland uh, some smaller creeks. Their own, for example, where there are lots of dams. It's pretty intense. So if you paddle there, then you might have to get out of the canoe and take your canoe over the beaver dam because you can't go any further. <laughs> that much? Wow. Yeah. Have lots. Here is a person that has like Is there something in the river there? On the top there. It is a beaver! Oh. In the middle of the bloody river. Can we go back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, it's so tiny. There, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. cool! Yeah? <laughs> baby, baby beaver! Baby beaver! Fantastic! <laughs> First time I saw a baby! This Good so... wildlife spotting, Jack! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I said it was no, it's probably just a branch or... <laughs> a stick! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where do you want to be? On this rock a bit or not? Yeah. <laughs> I've just come from the UK, how do you, <laughs> how do you rain? <laughs> I'm 
espresso? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so what's this? This is uh, Tunnbröt. Um, in this area you have the tradition of uh, baking bread, flat bread, uh, in uh, wood ovens. So a lot of places have a small, small cabin in the garden where they have this wood oven and mm. you can bake this kind of bread. You make lots and lots of it <laughs> and you <laughs> put it in the freezer and it's really nice. It has a little bit of an anise taste to it all. Oh, an anise. Right. Mm, it's nice. It's moorish. Mm -hmm. mm. so make sure that there's lots of holes in it. Make it very, very flat and then you have a very big uh, sort of a, a spoon and then you push it in the oven and yeah, then just like a pizza oven yes like yeah, a pizza, like a oven. pizza oven. yeah like a pizza oven it's yeah. very very thin and uh, there's wood uh, fire on both sides in the oven and you put it in the middle and then you have to be really quick to get it out also oh, before so it burns it does it really quick then cooks really fast yeah mm. just uh, i mean maybe 15 seconds or something goes oh, very wow, quick. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. for half a minute something <laughs> something like that but a very very quick it wasn't long before the rain returned. This is what a 10% chance of rain looks like in Sweden. Let's just say I have now lost all faith in weather apps while I'm in Sweden. The flow rate of the river has picked up the pace. Tired and wet through, we headed back to base and indulged in some delicious food while we dried off. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Mm. Smells good. Mm. So, let's see how it tastes. So, we've made it back alive. <laughs> yes, we made it. Shame about the weather today, it did get torrential, but we still had fun. Mm, absolutely, it was Loads a great day. Fun. Next adventure in the winter? Yes, yeah? yeah, we'll have to come back, come in the winter and experience oh. snow. Yeah. I say springtime is the best. Yes, yeah, spring winter, so like mm. February, March, it's fantastic. Oh, nice, oh. yeah. Okay. Great, thank you. <laughs> Give you a hug. <laughs> What an extraordinary and fantastic day. We both experienced seeing our first baby beaver attempting to cross the raging river. By the way, this is what it would look like minus the rain in beautiful autumn. If you would like to experience what I do, then you can check out Wrestler Adventures in the description to plan your next adventure. Stay tuned to join the expedition. See you next time.